Genuine gratitude was expressed by the writer of a letter received some time ago at church headquarters. No return address was shown, no name, but the postmark was from Portland, Oregon. Let me read it to you. To the office of the First Presidency, Salt Lake City showed me Christian hospitality once during my wandering years. On a cross-country journey by bus to California, I stepped down in the terminal in Salt Lake City, sick and trembling from aggravated loss of sleep caused by a lack of necessary medication. In my headlong flight from a bad situation in Boston, I would completely forgotten my supply of medicine. In the Temple Square Hotel restaurant, I sat dejectedly. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw a couple approach my table. Are you all right, young man? The woman asked. I raised up crying and a bit shaken, related my story and the predicament I was in then. They listened carefully and patiently to my nearly incoherent ramblings. And then they took charge. They spoke with the restaurant manager. They told me I could have all I wanted to eat there for five days. They took me next door to the hotel desk and got me a room for five days. Then they drove me to a clinic and saw that I was provided with the medications I needed, truly my basic lifeline to sanity and comfort. While I was recuperating and building my strength, I made it a point to attend the daily tabernacle organ recitals. The celestial voicing of that instrument, from the faintest intonation to the mighty full organ, is the most sublime sonority of my acquaintance. I have acquired albums and tapes of the tabernacle organ and the choir, which I can rely upon any time to soothe and buttress a sagging spirit. On my last day at the hotel, before I resumed my journey, I turned in my key, and there was a message for me from that couple. It read, Repay us by showing gentle kindness to some other troubled soul along your road. That was my habit, but I determined to be more keenly on the lookout for someone who needed a lift in life. I wish you well. I don't know if these are indeed the latter days spoken of in the scripture, but I do know that two members of your Church were saints to me in my desperate hours of need. I just thought you might like to know.